Stories behind rare Old West photos. Thanks to technology, photography developed in the mid-19th century. If not for photography, we would hardly imagine the events that took place in the Old West. We might not be able to see what the people looked like and what their life was. Photos are so important to prove an event. At the end of the video, we will discover which one probably is the best old photo of the Old West ever taken. Number 1. Never really thought about what cowboys wore back then? Without photos, it is hard to guess what they looked like on regular days. This photo shows a cowboy wearing all types of chaps that composes Texan wing, bat wing, and shotgun made of cowhide. The northern part is colder. That is why their clothes are made of sheepskin or goat hide with the fur still on. Number 2. George Armstrong Custer was a vain man. In fact, he scented his hair with cinnamon oil. He pays much attention to how he looks. He always wears a black velvety uniform with gold laces, a red scarf around his neck, and a big sombrero. If he still lives today, he would have been a model, I guess. He posed more than 150 times for photographs in his entire life. This picture here is said to be his last picture about two months before his death in the Battle of the Little Bighorn in 1876 along with four other members of the Custer family. Number 3. Relocating from one place to another is very common in the Old West. In Greenwood County, Kansas, people traveling on wagons spend their lunch break next to their wagons. It takes a lot of hours or sometimes days before they reach their destination because the roads back then were not paved. Number 4. Pearl Hart got famous after her life was written up in Cosmopolitan. She was one brave woman who is known for robbing stagecoaches. She left her husband at the age of 22 when his husband found her again and he was able to convince her to go back home. But sadly, she left again. She continued with robberies until she got caught and was sentenced to five years in prison. She was jailed in Arizona, Yuma Territorial Prison and was released after three years for unknown reasons. Number 5. The largest mass execution happened for a rape case in U.S. history was on July 1, 1896. Rufus Buck Gang were bad men. Not only do they rob, but they also murder and rape women. The authority had a hard time capturing them. There was even reward money to find them. When they were finally caught, the people did not waste this chance to make them pay for their crimes. Number 6. Crossing the Midwest is kind of dangerous. Considering that there is a higher chance of encounters with bandits, crossing rivers are also hard. This photo shows the trek at Sierra Nevada Mountain. This photo shows the trek at Sierra Nevada Mountain Trail. This photo proves how challenging the trail is. Most of the wealthiest men travel here, and an option to keep them safe was to hire armed men. Number 7. Buffalo Bill's Cowboys. As part of the show, his men would reenact gunfights but they are using real bullets. Did you know that these men are sharpshooters and that they must audition for them to prove their shooting skills? These cowboys traveled so much and makes good money for the show, and makes good money out of it. Number 8. Buffalo Bill or Frederick Cody lived his early days in Iowa. He was a Union soldier in the Civil War. At the age of 23, he came up with a show he called Buffalo Bill's Wild West. A segment in this show is a performance by two Oglala Lakota Indians, namely Elk and Black Elk. They traveled with Bill all the way to Europe to dance for crowds and royalties wearing their traditional clothing, native gears, shells, and bells. Number 9. We know that Wild West people always carry guns, pistols, or ilk. It is very common to see in photos. Pistols have been considered one of the fashion accessories in the Old West. In photos, cowboys would make sure to have their guns handheld or on their side. The bigger guns they have, the fancier it is. Number 10. One of the earliest photographers is John C. H. Grable. Originally from Ohio, but at a young age, he relocated to Illinois. Though he works as a miner, his passion for photography made a huge contribution to history. Imagine if there was no one like him who is more fascinated by photographs than by money. He built a good reputation for capturing photos of the Wild West. The Library of Congress has a total of 188 photos. You have just discovered the fascinating stories behind these rare old photos of the Old West. Click here to know more about how the earliest saloons looked like.